Carey, Serial and four more unusual inspirations for musicals. The aftermath of the 9-11 attacks might not seem like the most obvious inspiration for a musical, but it's the subject of a new West End show. Come From Away tells the true story of a small Canadian town that took in 7,000 stranded plane passengers after the attacks. The Broadway production won the Tony Award for Best Direction. However, some critics of the London version felt the show glossed over the trauma of 9-11. It's not the most unusual subject to become a musical, though. Here are six other real-life and fictional stories that got the song and dance treatment. 1. Carrie Plots about teenagers coming of age are something of a musical staple. But while the likes of West Side Story continue to delight audiences, the public didn't take a musical version of Stephen King's horror novel Carrie to their hearts. The song and dance routine about slaughtering a pig, at the opening of the second act, might have put some theatergoers off. Broadway's most notorious flop ran for only three days, when it opened in 1988. An off-Broadway revival in 2012 fared slightly better, but still closed early. 2. Diana, Princess of Wales More than 20 years after her death, Princess Diana's life story continues to fascinate writers. She's already inspired a 2013 film starring Naomi Watts and the Monica Ali novel Untold Story. A musical about her life begins previews in the U.S. on Tuesday. Diana, a new musical focuses on Diana's life in her 20s and features 23 songs from Bon Jovi's keyboard player David Bryan. Bryan says he's used different musical styles to represent each character, Diana is pop rock, royalty is string quartet, we have paparazzi as punk guitars and we try to make all those roles live on top of each other. Early readings of the musical were closed to critics so we'll have to wait until the first preview to find out more. This isn't the first musical to be written about Diana. Footage of a different production at a Tennessee community theater has become a viral hit on social media. If that piqued your interest, you can watch the whole show here. 3. A Serial Café The story of the opening of the serial killer café in East London has been made into a musical. The Café which went on to become a chain, sparked angry protests from locals when it opened in Shoreditch in 2014. Shops hit an anti-gentrification demo. Serial Café backed by Boris Johnson. The musical, originally called Spilled Milk and now renamed The Serial Café, has been in development for two years. The news that the hipster café was to become a musical did not go down well with some on social media. A workshop version of the Serial Café opens in London later this month for a three-day run, so you can see for yourself if it really heralds the end of civilization. 4. Public Toilets Greg Cotas got the idea for his toilet-themed musical, You're in a Town, when he encountered his first pay-per-use public loo. The satirical show is set in a future where private toilets have been banned, after years of drought. Critics and audiences managed to see past the show's rather unappealing name. Urine at Town ran on Broadway for three years and scooped a trio of Tonys. The news that the show was to open in London in 2014 led many reviewers to break out their worst toilet puns. The best of the bunch came from The Guardian's Michael Billington, who dubbed Urine at Town the Spandipani opera that's a welcome relief. 5. The Shroud of Turin who wouldn't want to see a musical about a scientist who becomes obsessed with finding out whether the Shroud of Turin really was Jesus's burial cloth? Before you answer, keep in mind that it features a high-kicking priest, dancing nuns, and such timeless lyrics as, to measure the darkness, you must stand in the dark. But when you stand in the dark, you cannot see a thing. Despite this, Almost nobody went to see the 1986 Broadway musical Into the Light. It closed after just six performances. 6. Dinosaur Genitalia If you ever wanted to watch Jurassic Park told from the point of view of the dinosaurs, 
then the 2012 off-Broadway musical comedy Triassic Park is for you. Described by the New York Times as a body tribute to dinosaurs and their newfound genitalia, the show follows a group of dinosaurs whose lives are thrown into chaos when one of the females spontaneously turns male. Needless to say, the show didn't achieve quite the same success as the Michael Crichton novel or the Steven Spielberg film that inspired it. Aired it.